Good morning. Well, it may look like I'm creating a little mini Stonehenge, but this is kind of the base of the year. I'm starting to lay it out and space everything out. So, I've got to tackle this centre bit, which means mixing a load and load of concrete to create kind of a little ring which all the centre bits will sit on and inside the stove will sit on. So I'm doing the mix quite dry and that's because this is not like a concrete pad like in a house it's not got to be that like flat and solid it's just got to be a really firm like you know stable base so that's why I'm packing it out with breeze blocks and stuff just needs to be solid but you know don't need to go to crazy extents. Now there is one issue is that I run out of water now so it gives me an opportunity to try some out that I got the other day.
Lovely. We got water. The first time ever the Chateau Well is providing the Chateau roundabouts with water. Yeah, it's a bit brown and smelly as expected. The pump didn't seem to go much deeper than kind of that. So it's either it's blocked up with loads of stuff or the well actually isn't that deep. One thing we can do to make it clearer is pump all the water out someone's got to be brave enough to get down there, clear it all out, get it nice and clean, and then let fresh water come back in, and then it should be, all right, it's maybe not gonna be drinkable, but it'll be usable, but this is fine for building.
Oh, typical. One short. It's always the way, isn't it? Anyway, hopefully now you get the gist. So this monument, what a beautiful thing, by the way. So one more to put in here, then I'm going to nog in between each of these beams and that'll brace it all. Then when it's all level, I'll fill this bit right to the top with concrete and that'll hold all these beam ends in place as well. That'd be a good base for the middle of the tent and the log burner. And look, I know this might look all a bit excessive just for a yurt, for a big tent basically, but what you gotta remember is I haven't really had a proper stable home in like two years and I want this place to just be comfortable, warm, insulated and secure. I don't wanna, you know, be compromising anywhere or something not be quite right. So yeah, it may be going a bit over the top, but you know what, come winter, I think I really, really appreciate how much effort has gone into this base. Well, there's going to be a lot of fine tuning this base just to get it kind of good enough so I can reliably put the noggins in. But I mean, I've got like two days, which isn't a lot. And the floor's got to be properly, properly finished and varnished because the tent sits on the base. So there's no opportunity after to kind of put a finish on the floor. Ah, it's going to be tight. So successful day. We've got water in the chateau for the first time, pumping that well. Yeah, it was a bit minging and brown, but it's on-site water. And that makes, well, that makes this whole site self-sufficient. We're getting our own electric. We're getting our own water now. Yeah, happy. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy, busy day and a brico trip all in one. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>